What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. So today I want to talk to you about how to pick supersets for triceps that are going to be maximally effective. Because there are a lot of different tricep exercises that you can use, but doing the wrong ones is not going to provide the effect that I'm trying to convey here to you today, and that is that the exercises that you choose matter and they matter a lot. And that's because if you look at the anatomy of the triceps, you have three heads here. You have the lateral head, the medial head, and then the long head, which is the big beefy area back here on the inside of your arm. Now, the difference in the three heads is that the two medial and lateral heads actually originate on the upper arm and they cross the elbow. So their only function is to straighten the elbow out. Whereas the long head doesn't just cross here in the elbow, but it also goes and crosses the shoulder to attach to the scapula. So what that means is you can influence that long head depending upon the position of the arm. Whereas the other ones only matter what's happening here at the elbow, whether it's flexed or extended. So we can take advantage of that. And we know that when we're picking straight set exercises for the development of the triceps, we can rely on those that hit more of the lateral and medial heads, like a close grip bench press or like a tricep push down, because our only focus is to have to get those elbows straightened out, and that's the end of it for full range of motion. But when we talk about the long head, we have a lot of exercises that will do one of two things. One, either put our arm up over our body, which now will put that long head on stretch, or we know that in its complete contracted state, it's going to be tucked into your side and back here behind the body, and we can choose exercises that do that. So if you want to get the best exercises for your tricep in terms of supersetting them, then you'd want to take two long head exercises, one that puts it on stretch, and one that puts it in a peak contracted position, and pair those up together. So now let's take a look at some of them. The first one here is an incline dumbbell extension. And with the incline extension here, we're actually getting a little bit of an additional stretch because the bench is on that incline angle, so our arms can actually get a little bit further back behind our body. And you can see here again, right in that position, that sweet spot that we need to be in to put that long head on stretch, and we want to focus on here. Now, you're going to go through a complete range of motion on this exercise. However, if you are going to kind of cut it short just a little bit, what people tend to do is they'll cut the stretch and they'll go more to the contracted position. Here I would recommend if you're going to do anything, focus more on the stretch because that's what we're trying to take advantage of here on this exercise. And we immediately go and we drop it down into the exercise that I always say we need to bring back, it's the kickback. Because the kickback is one of those rare exercises that gives us the chance to actually put that long head in its fully contracted position with our arm tucked really close to our body and back behind our body into extension. And you can feel the contraction here. And I like the fact that all we need to do is do one simple dumbbell switch. The weight that we used before, we could drop it in half and we could sort of face ourselves right down on the bench and go right into this without having to rest. The second one is now one we could do over at a push down machine. And again, with very, very little rest in between because we don't have to do much to transition between exercises, which is another benefit of selecting the right exercises for a superset. And here we have a rope push away to start it all off. And it's not just concentrating on getting the rope away from our body. Again, we're trying to take advantage of the fact that if I just let my upper arms drift on every rep, just a little bit more back behind my body, I can get a better stretch on the long head of the triceps with every single rep. You immediately then turn around, change and alter the stack and the weight, whichever way you have to, and perform what I've now covered many times on this channel before the rocking pushdown. Now the advantage of the rocking pushdown is we could take advantage of the strength curve on a pushdown and make sure that we're applying peak tension to the triceps both in the beginning of the exercise and also at the end, because that's one of the limitations on the exercise if you don't perform it in this way. By getting in nice and close, I can have the cable perpendicular to my forearms that applies peak force to my triceps in that beginning range of motion. But by then rocking backwards, I can get that force and that, uh, uh, to be applied still to the triceps in that peak contracted state. But more importantly, look what's going on. I can get those arms back behind my body. So once again tucked and once again into extension back behind the body, meaning the long head gets that peak contraction once again in this exercise. So by pairing these two up and having minimal transition time between them, I've got another winner in terms of supersets. And then finally, if you're looking for a bodyweight option here, all you need is a bench. Because what we could do here is start with this bodyweight tricep extension. And again, look at what's going on here. By getting in this position here, as soon as my arms and elbows get up in front of my body and over my head, we're putting that tricep on stretch. And all you have to do to reinforce that is if I were to ask you to stretch your tricep, most of you just instinctively go like this and grab and hold on and pull, because we know that we got to get that arm up and away. Well, that's what we're doing here with the bodyweight tricep extension, but all we have to do to finish this off and now get into its completely contracted position is turn around and do a bench dip. 
Now, a few things to note here, guys, I've covered this before on this channel, to minimize the impact this might have in a negative way on your shoulders, get your hands to face out rather than forward, and then when you go down, make sure you're sticking your chest out and keeping your shoulders back. You don't want your shoulders just round out forward, which could put a lot of stress on the inside of your shoulder joint. Keep them rolled back, but you can see, again, perfect position here for having our arm back in extension behind our body, and then when we go down and fully contract our triceps here, we get that really nice, solid contraction. So it's another perfect combination with an easy transition time, nice and quick, efficient utilization of equipment with just a single bench and your own body weight. Now let's say you're looking for that one combo, that little bonus combo because you're sh very, very short on time and you want to hit these things hard. Well actually, we have one combo here, it's probably the ultimate tricep superset, and that is we're going to take that long head through a stretch position and a contracted position on the same exercise and do it twice in back to back exercises. And we can actually do that with this kneeling tricep push down. So when we get down to the ground by virtue of being lower. That means that we can allow our arms to get higher in the starting position. And immediately you should be able to see that those triceps and that long head specifically are now put on stretch. And with every single rep when we return to this position, we're allowing ourselves to get that stretch, which we don't do when we're just doing a static, regular tricep push down. But when we come down and we actually come out of that kneel and push down, we can actually now get those arms back towards the sides of our body, and if we can even a little bit behind the body, to now take that into the fully contracted position. Now the one thing you want to be careful of here is that you're actually initiating all this movement with the extension of the elbow and not just pulling down with your lats and allowing that to take over. If you just have that focus on the triceps doing the extension, you'll be able to eliminate that common flaw and feel the benefits of this exercise by being able to take it through both its stretch and its contracted state. But we're not done because it's a supersets, right? So we take this now and we go right over to a barbell that we have set up here to do our barbell tricep rollouts. It's going to look a little bit like that bodyweight tricep extension that I just showed you, but it's allowing ourselves to just roll the barbell out, which takes the arms up and away from the body, putting that long head on stretch. And again, when we come back, we're going from an elbow bent position to now as we come back and over the top of it, we have a straight elbow, right, prerequisite here for training the triceps and getting the lateral and the medial heads as well, of course, but now because our body is up and past the arms and the elbows are traveling now tight and behind the body, we can hit that long head once again. So these two exercises are very rare in the fact that they allow us to take that long head through its full range of motion, and by virtue of pairing them back, up, uh, back to back with each other, we sort of get that ultimate superset. So guys, the point is this, you don't want to overlook the big exercises and their importance when it comes to building the strength and the mass in the triceps, but when you were looking at the complete development of the triceps, you have to appreciate the fact that that long head has two opportunities to hit it and hit it in much different ways. One, in a stretch position up over your head, and two, down at your sides. So for me, when we're looking for pairing together supersets, those are the ones that you want to try to hit back to back to hit both functions because you're going to have to do them with different exercises. One final point, you might say to yourself, well I've done exercises where I've gone from a, a close grip bench press into a tricep push up and I felt that they were really, really effective. But what that actually is more to me is a drop set because you're doing the same action, you're working the same mid range of the tricep, neither taking your arms up here or back behind the body, so it's more of a mid range exercise, both capable of building, but again it becomes more of a mechanical drop set. You burn out on the tricep uh, close grip bench press, so you go to the floor and you still continue that same range of motion but with lighter weight because you're using your body weight instead of the barbell and it acts more to continue the set, not as a super set with two different exercises. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, start incorporating some of these in this way and I promise you're going to see better results from your tricep training if you're looking for more step-by-step -step plans on how to put the science into what you would do because it matters guys. It's not just about the exercise selection, but it's about the sequencing of how you do these things too as you just saw. We put it all together for you in our Athlon X training programs over at AthlonX.com. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what else I can cover for you in the days and weeks ahead, and I'll do that for you. All right, guys, see you soon.